Our voice is one of the most vulnerable parts of ourselves. Most new students, when they first start the lessons, they feel vulnerable and exposed. But if singing is something that is supposed to be natural and easy, then why is it so hard? Well, yes, singing is supposed to be easy and natural. And the goal with the lessons is to come back to that state in which your voice flows naturally, in which you are connected with your voice, you are one with your voice. However, conditions are not perfect for that nowadays. Through the years, we build a, b- a body that tends to lock up our voice instead of releasing it. There are many reasons why that happens, and today we're going to talk about one of them. Anxiety, and the effect that anxiety has in your voice. It is well known now that our lisa brain makes us react to perceive all real danger in a similar way. So whenever we are in a situation in which we conscious or unconsciously feel unsafe, our brain is going to react as if we were in the presence of a real threat. So this was something really useful many, many, many years ago when humans were surrounded by real danger and real threats, but not so useful if you want to sing. If you are in a perceived or in a real danger situation, your brain will not understand the difference. So it's going to react in a similar way and it's going to send the signal to your body to protect you. So it's going to do all they can to protect you. This is what they call flight, fight or freeze response. So in any of those scenarios, your body is going to hide your voice or block it. And that is great if you are actually in danger, but when you try to speak or sing, it's not such a good idea. So you will find yourself sending your brain two opposite signals. One, hide and protect, and the other one, express your voice. They are two opposite signals and that will create tension. Singing or speaking is not something scary by itself, but we make it, we make it mean that um, when we conscious or unconsciously associate it with the risk of rejection. That is not your fault, but you might be unconsciously thinking that people might reject you, people might not like you, people might compare you with other people, you might fail. and Actually, that is, that is a survival need, feeling that you can belong and you can be accepted by your tribe. So it does make sense that it causes you anxiety. We live in a society that makes us feel alone, more and more. Singing used to be fun and safe for everyone. Singing used to be a community event. But now, singing is associated with a scary situation. Even if your survival is not really in danger, your brain is going to perceive that and it's going to react to that. So in this in this situation, the best case scenario is that you're going to be yelling, like if you were fighting. Um, that is not actually expressing, that is actually reacting to an emotion. So either you, either if you your voice is, get, becomes small or if you yell, in either way you are not expressing, you are reacting or blocking and that is not the goal that is not a free voice and also if you are feeling anxious your breathing will automatically become more shallow which makes sense if you are in danger but remember your breathing is the fuel of your voice so if your breathing is shortened your voice is going to be stuck and this explains why so many people feel that they can sing easily at home when no one is watching them but then when they are going to sing in public, it becomes really hard. So what can we do about it? Well, nowadays, we do have a lot of tools to overcome this problem. And this will save you a lot of months and maybe even years of training and frustration. So the first thing you can do is to find a space in which you feel actually safe by yourself. Maybe it is your room. Most people don't even feel safe with their voice when they are by themselves. So find your space, your your space, where where you feel comfortable and where your energy is there. And that is is the best space you can have to start exploring your voice safely. So if this is still too hard, try telling your mind that it's okay, you are going to survive, nothing scary, you're going to see 
that it becomes a little bit easier every time. If you are comfortable now singing by yourself, your next step maybe it is to sign up for private lessons. So that way you have the support of a teacher that will guide you and not judge you. So you can start safely expanding your comfort zone. Once you start feeling more confident sharing your voice, maybe now it's time to expand your comfort zone a little bit more. So if you are still feeling anxious about singing in a crowd of people, maybe you can start sharing your voice with a tiny group of people. It doesn't have to be a big big group. Actually, if you go from anxious to performing in a crowd, that, that is not going to help you a lot. You're going to become very frustrated because it is a giant step. So start small. Maybe find your tribe. Find a group of good friends, supportive people. Sometimes support you can find supportive people between your family and your friends. And sometimes you can't. Sometimes your family and friends are judgy and criticize your voice and have make fun of it. So you don't have to you don't have to deal with it. So find your tribe and start little by little sharing your voice with them. Maybe it is a jam session. Maybe you can just get together with a group of friends and sing sing together. Just find the people that supports you and don't judge you. Find the people that allows you to express safely and to explore your creativity. So maybe it is two or three people. Maybe it is ten people. It doesn't matter. Whatever it is, go to that space and then keep on practicing with them. At this stage, you are going to start feeling the joy of singing with a group of people again. That is what we should naturally do. If you still want to go for more and you you want to start performing for other people, now you might feel a little bit more safe to do it. So again, expand your comfort zone safely. If you feel comfortable singing with your friends and your family, now maybe it's the time to maybe go to an open mic where there is people you don't know. Maybe you feel a little bit nervous, but not, not super anxious about it. As you grow in confident and in safe and feeling safe, you are going to start feeling more and more comfortable with more people that you don't know and larger crowds. You are going to be every time more willing to take more rest because you know that you are going to be okay. I hope that helps. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel and let me know your questions in the comments below.